Have you ever wondered about the existence of the mythical Scottish haggis animal? This peculiar creature, believed to be native to the craggy highlands of Scotland, has captivated and perplexed individuals for centuries. The haggis beast, with its legendary lopsided gait and mystifying origins, has been the subject of countless tales, each more bewildering than the last. From the ancient Celts to modern-day mythologists, the enigma of the haggis beast has sparked fascination and intrigue, some depicted as a benign creature, a symbol of the resilience and rugged beauty of the Scottish landscape. Others painted as an elusive and potentially dangerous beast lurking in the shadows of the moorlands. The question remains, is the haggis beast mere folklore, a figment of our collective imagination, or could there be a grain of truth in these ancient tales? The answer is shrouded in mystery waiting to be discovered. Dive deep into the ancient tales and you might just find the truth. Where did the legend of the haggis animal originate? The answer, my friends, lies deep within the annals of Scottish folklore, steeped in mystery and entwined with the very fabric of this ancient culture. The haggis animal, a curious creature, is said to have been born from the verdant landscapes of Scotland. It is a beast of whimsy with a body that reflects the hilly terrain it calls home. One side of its body sports longer legs than the other, a peculiar adaptation that allows it to navigate the steep Scottish highlands with ease. The earliest mentions of this mythical creature can be traced back to the oral traditions of the ancient Scots. These tales of the haggis animal, passed down from generation to generation, painted a vivid picture of a creature that was as much a part of Scotland as the heather-clad hills and the deep, mysterious lochs. The haggis animal, it was said, could only be hunted under the cover of darkness, adding an air of intrigue and adventure to its legend. Over time, the haggis animal has become an integral part of Scottish culture, its myth weaving itself into the fabric of Scottish society. It's not just in folk tales that this creature has made its mark. It's in the songs sung around the fire, in the stories shared over a pint, and in the heart of every Scot who cherishes their rich cultural heritage. There are various theories regarding the origin of this myth. Some believe it to be a humorous invention a playful jest at the expense of gullible visitors to Scotland. Others, however, argue that the haggis animal is a metaphor, a symbolic representation of the rugged and resilient spirit of the Scottish people. As we delve into the past, the line between myth and reality becomes blurred. But whether the haggis animal is a product of playful jest, a metaphor or perhaps something more, one thing is certain. Its legend is deeply rooted in the heart of Scotland, a testament to the power of storytelling and the enduring allure of mystery. How has the haggis animal influenced our culture over the years? It's a fascinating question, and the answer might surprise you. The mythical haggis creature has been a staple in Scottish folklore for centuries, shaping the cultural landscape in unexpected ways. Its influence transcends borders, seeping into literature, music and art across the globe. In literature, the haggis beast has been a recurring character, symbolising both the wildness of the Scottish landscape and the human capacity for inventiveness. From Robert Burns' poetry to modern novels, the creature has been a source of inspiration and amusement. In music, the haggis animal has found a home in traditional Scottish tunes, its uneven gait and unique shape often interpreted through playful rhythms and melodies. In the realm of art, the haggis has been visually represented in numerous forms, from intricate tapestries to quirky cartoons. Its peculiar image has become synonymous with Scottish culture, creativity and humour. Even as a myth, the haggis animal has left a mark on our world. Could the mythical haggis animal still roam the Scottish Highlands? It's a question that stirs the imagination and invites us to ponder the mysteries of the past. Sightings and testimonials of the haggis animal continue to surface even in our modern era. Some claim to have glimpsed the creature in the misty moors at dawn, while others swear they've heard its distinctive call in the dead of night. But skepticism abounds as well. Critics argue that these encounters are simply the product of folklore deeply ingrained in the Scottish psyche. 
They point out that despite the numerous tales and claimed sightings, no concrete evidence of the haggis animal's existence has ever been found. Yet whether you're a believer or a skeptic, the enduring question of the haggis animal's existence only serves to deepen the fascination with this legendary creature. The mystery of the haggis animal remains unsolved, adding to the allure of this ancient Scottish legend.